Alright guys, so this is game two of Ponjuk vs. Chocolate and let's see, we have uh, is Chang Insang vs. Shin Dongjin Shin Dongjin is the green Protoss, he's at the one o'clock he's at the Hanshi and Chang Insang is the orange Protoss in the seven o'clock now, I watched parts of this game it's a very exciting game, so I think it's going to be a great replay. Okay, scouting probe, scouting probe. Gateway, gateway. Cybernetics core, cybernetics core. Similar timing. Um, Shin Dongjin is a little bit faster. No expansion. No Baren Hotjang. This is going to be one base play. Okay. Dragoon Salp. Dragoon range coming up. Dragoon range coming up at the same time. Both have one gateways. Okay. Second gateway for Shin Dongjin. Uh, robotics Bay for one. Uh, for uh, Chang Inzang. So this is where their builds. Okay, second gateway. Let's see, Adun, fast Adun. This is Robotics Bay. Let's see what happens. So, Protoss is trying to hide his tech. He's trying to hide his tech. So he's keeping his dragoons in front, so that. Mm, Chang Insang's uh, army cannot go out and see what's going on because Chang Insang really wants to Chongchar over here. He wants to see what uh, Shin Dongjin is doing, but he can't see because the dragoons are blocking the way. And then now Shin Dongjin is building a probe, so this is actually a pretty good play. It's a uh, like uh, there's a saying. Your best defense is a good offense. Your best defense is a good offense. So what that means is that uh 제일 좋은 수비가 공격하는 거다. And so Shin Dongjin is just attacking 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 and in that way he is covering or he's hiding his tech. Okay, Dragoon speed, I mean Zealot speed finished already. That's fast Zealot speed. Whereas uh Chang Insang he's going to go for Okay, he's going for Reavers. So he should have a... Okay, he has an Observer first. That's yeah, that's a little bit strange. He should build a shuttle right after his Reaver. But, okay, so the Observer comes in and he sees Observatory, Robotics Bay, Adun, and Gateway. No Adun yet for Chang Insang. But he is building his Hwakjang. He's building his expansion. Okay. Chang Insang is moving out with one, two, three, four, five, uh, uh, five dragoons, six dragoons, and he's covering uh, Shin Dong Jin's uh, natural. Okay, takes out the uh, observer. All right, so he's pushing in. Let's see, oh, bad attack, bad move for uh, Chang Insang. Shin Dong Jin wins the fight. And if uh, Shin Dong Jin wants to win, he should push right now because Chang Insan has nothing. He has nothing. He has no army. Okay, and he will. He's going to counter attack. He's going to counter, counter attack. Uh, this shovel shuttle has one reaver. Hmm. And Shin Dong Jin decides not to attack. He has decided not to attack. Instead, he's going to. Well, he should build his expansion sooner or later because he needs to catch up with money. Uh, Chang Insang is getting very, very rich. He's getting bigger and bigger. He's eating more and more minerals. But uh, Shin Dong Jin is not. If you look at Shin Dong Jin's supply, he is at 48 supply right now. 48. Whereas Chang Insang is at 74. So. The extra expansion is really paying off. It's really, uh, it's really benefiting Chang Insang because it's giving him a lot of money and a high supply count. 
Okay, but see, Shindongjin has the Dark Templar out. Where is that Templar? Ah, so I hadn't been able to see it the whole time, but Shindongjin has kind of hidden away his Templar archives. And so now, Dark Templar moving in. And let's see. This is Shindongjin's observer, and he notices that there is no other observer here. That should give Shindongjin a clear pathway into Shindongjin's, I mean, into Changinzang's base. So, let's see. No observer, no sight. How many kills can this Dark Templar get? One, two. And I think that Changinzang has no idea. He doesn't know. 11 kill probe. Uh, 11 kill. 11 kill Dark Templar. Okay, so he has an observer here. But he has to move it up. The observer is not moving. Ah, he's too busy microwing his attack. So they're both kind of like uh, harassing each other. They're both using a type of harass. Harass is, I think it's 경제? 경제? But, uh. Well, how do I say this? Uh, Shin Dongjin's harass has been more effective because he has more kills, but. He still has a much higher, he still has a much lower supply than Chang Inzang. Chang Inzang has 76 supply and Shin Dongjin has 66. And this shuttle is just waiting here and looking for an opening. Opening is Pintum. Pintum. So, okay, shuttle speed is upgraded and he is going to. That Dragoon's dead, I think. I mean, that Dark Templar is dead. Okay, here it comes. Oh, Purbar. Purbar is dud. That's a dud. Or that's a blank fire. No kills. No kill reavers. Now, um, Chang uh expansion is completely empty. He's not mining anymore because the Dark Templar killed everything. Uh, Chang Insan should really transfer his probes over to his expansion. That way he can get some more efficient mining going on. Whoa, what is this? Templar drop coming with two zealots for Shin Dongjin. This reaver is just sitting there. He hasn't done anything. It's been pretty useless. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Drop the zealot. Drop the zealot first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. 12 kill Templar. Oh, 18 kill Templar. That was dope. No, don't lose the shuttle. Don't lose the Oh that is that's just too bad. That's too bad. That's Ashipta. But okay, not bad. So he uh how do I say this? Shin Dongjin with a thirteen kill Dark Templar and a like a nineteen kill Templar. Oh, that's too bad the um Scarabs are being blocked by the pylon. So these, I think these reavers actually have no kills right now. Zero kills. Or if they do have kills, they don't have that many. Yes. Alright, I am going to pause the game here. Okay, we are back. Let's see. So... When we last left off, uh, Shin Dongjin had a lot of kills with his Templar, about 19 kills with his Templar, and about 12 kills with his Dark Templar. But Chang Inzang still has 84 supply, whereas Shin Dongjin only has 64. So even though Shin Dongjin has showed some good micro, he's shown some good control, his macro has been very poor. His macro has been poor. And what that means is that when I talk about macro, I'm talking about building probes or maintaining your economy maintaining means yujihe economy means like kyongje or ton so shin dongjin has shown good control good micro control but he's shown poor uh how do i say this game management or economic skills whereas chang insang he's been losing a lot of probes but he's still maintaining a much bigger army than Shin Dongjin, and that has a lot to do with. Oh my goodness, the lights just went out. Okay, so 
Changinsang has 90 supplies, Shindongjin has uh, 68, and yeah, he's always short on money. So even though the micro was great, the control was great. Hello. So they are walking into the base. Chang Insang is walking into the base. And I think this is going to be GG because well, I mean, okay, let's see. 103 supply versus 72 supply. So that's like a 30 supply disparity or 30 supply difference. And difference means chai. So it's like samship food chai. Samship supply chai. Some nice psionic storms for Chang Insang, and now he's at 87 supply to oh, Shin Dong Jin only has 42, 42 supplies. So uh, Chang Insang has doubled the food count. Chang Insang has doubled the food count. Wow, a lot of psionic storms. And I think this is game over. Here we go. Chang Insang is making his third base. Ah, very good. So, even though Shin Dong Jin showed some great control, it looks like it's going to be game over and Chang Insang is going to win this game. And that will make it 2 0 in favor of Ponjuk.